Welcome to the top 10 football phrases. These are phrases you need to know to talk about and understand people talking about the beautiful game of football. Okay, let's go. Our first phrase is dark horses. So if someone says, who are the dark horses? That means, who are the team with unexpected ability? So as an example, if I said, I think Turkey are dark horses for this tournament, it means I think Turkey are a very good team, but most people don't expect them to do well. Who's your money on? This is a gambling phrase, which basically means who do you think will win? So if I think Portugal will win, I could say Portugal have a great squad, so my money is on them. Our third phrase is who are you tipping or who is your tip? Again, this is just another way of asking someone who do you think will win? So as an example, I could say I'm tipping England to win the competition. Our fourth phrase is light up. So if somebody says, who do you think will light up the tournament? That means, who do you think will perform well and excite people? An example would be, I have a feeling Mbappe will light up the tournament. And that means I think he'll play really well and get people very excited. Phrase five is flop. Now this is a verb which means to do badly, especially when you're expected to do well. So if somebody says, who do you think will flop? You could say, I think England will flop as usual. And that means you think England will do badly. Our next phrase is hat trick. And in football, that means to score three goals in a match. So an example would be, Harry Kane has scored another hat trick. And that means he scored three times in one game. We do have hat tricks in other sports and similarly it means to do something three times. Number seven is a howler. This is a very British English phrase that describes a bad mistake that is often funny. So as an example we could say the defender made an absolute howler and that means he made a terrible mistake, probably one that was very embarrassing. Our eighth phrase is miss a sitter. Now this means to miss an easy chance to score. So we could say he's missed an absolute sitter and that means it was a really easy chance. Wow. Our ninth and penultimate phrase is put the game to bed. Now if you put something to bed, that means that it's finished, it's over. So in football, if you put the game to bed, it means you secure a victory. So, as an example, if somebody said Holland need to score again to put this game to bed, it means if they score again, the game will effectively be over. Our final phrase is underdog. Now, an underdog is a person or a team not expected to do well. So, if we said, as an example, we're supporting Wales as we like to cheer for the underdog, that means we're supporting Wales and nobody really expects them to do well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not subscribe to see more? Whack the bell to make sure you never miss another video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. And if you have any questions or would like to make any comments, please do so below. Keep working hard and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.